I'm working on the project with Patricia together, and we're using Microsoft Teams. Because we are new and don't know much about the system, I have recently noticed that Patricia's profile shows up in the system as an online training user. I captured the screen print of this and decided to share this information with Patricia. We've already exchanged some messages with Patricia before, so I decided to use the general channel and start a new conversation. This is what I wrote. Hi, Patricia. Hope all is well. Just noticed that your profile may not be updated in the system. This is how I see it. I just thought I would let you know. And I pasted the image of what I saw when I tried to search for Patricia. And then I clicked post. When Patricia saw this message, she was very surprised because she didn't know how her information shows up in the system. So she decided to thank me for sharing this information. And she used one of the features. When you hover over the post, you have access to some of the cool responses. So she decided to use this one, as that was something best represented her emotional state at the moment. She also decided to go ahead and change her profile. To do that, she clicked on the profile picture in the upper right corner and clicked Edit Profile. In addition to typing her name, she decided to upload the picture. Once she uploaded her picture, all she needed to do is to click Save button. The changes didn't show up immediately in the web version that she was using, so she decided to click Refresh. And she was happy she did, because now her picture showed up in the upper right corner. She decided to write me back and thank me for that. But before doing that, she decided to check how Vadim's profile shows up in the system. To do that, she typed at and started typing Vadim. She realized that Vadim doesn't have his picture uploaded either. And she decided to add some humor into her message. She wrote, thank you for letting me know. Make sure you update your profile as well, so you're not lagging behind as a team member. And she thought that the most appropriate end for this would be a smiley face. Instead of including emoji, she decided to just type the shortcut for smiley face which is column, and then closing parenthesis. And once she did, it was automatically replaced by Microsoft Teams into the smiley face. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Skills that you learn here will be helpful for you now and also in the future. You also get opportunity to help other people by answering their questions and helping them solve their challenges. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.